What if we told you that the Duterte administration has been a transformative period in the history of the Philippines? Would you believe us? Over the years, the Duterte presidency has marked significant milestones, some controversial, others commendable. Our aim today is to take you on a chronological journey, exploring the achievements and landmark events that have shaped the Duterte administration. From his inauguration in 2016 to the present day, each year has been a chapter in an ever-evolving narrative, so buckle up as we journey through the years of Duterte's presidency. The year is 2016. Rodrigo Duterte steps into office. His mandate? To bring change. And indeed, change was on the horizon. As soon as he took the helm, Duterte launched an uncompromising war on drugs. The goal was clear, to free the nation from the shackles of drug abuse and crime. It was a tough approach, and it sparked international debates, but within the Philippines, many saw it as a necessary measure for a safer society. Simultaneously, Duterte initiated the Build, Build, Build program, a bold infrastructure development campaign that aimed to modernize the country. From highways to airports, bridges to railway systems, the government embarked on projects that would transform the landscape of the nation. It was an ambitious plan, but one that promised to boost the economy and create jobs. And then there was the fight against poverty. Duterte's administration took several measures to uplift the economically disadvantaged. There was a greater emphasis on job creation, social protection programs were strengthened, and efforts were made to ensure more Filipinos have access to quality education and healthcare. As we can see, Duterte's early years in office were marked by aggressive policies and ambitious projects. The impact of these initiatives would shape the Philippines in the years to come, setting the stage for a nation poised to stride forward into a promising future. Fast forward to 2018, Duterte's presidency continues to evolve. At this stage, Duterte's administration had begun to make significant strides in several key areas, showcasing a commitment to progress and reform. One of the most notable achievements of this period was the signing of the Bangsamora Organic Law in 2018. This landmark legislation was a major step towards securing lasting peace in the Mindanao region, paving the way for the establishment of the Bangsamora Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, or Baram. This move was seen as a crucial step in addressing the decades-long conflict in the area, and it represented a significant accomplishment under Duterte's leadership. In 2019, Duterte's administration made another significant stride with the signing of the Universal Healthcare Act. This act made it mandatory for all Filipinos to be enrolled in the National Health Insurance Program, thus ensuring that every citizen has access to affordable and quality healthcare services. This was a significant move towards achieving universal health coverage, an issue that has been a persistent challenge for the country. Amid these developments, Duterte's administration also made significant progress in the field of education. In 2018, the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Act was fully implemented. This law made tertiary education in state universities and colleges free for all Filipino students, a move that has been hailed as a significant step towards improving access to higher education. This act was a clear demonstration of the administration's commitment to investing in the country's future by making education more accessible and affordable. These achievements are a testament to Duterte's unwavering commitment to addressing the long-standing issues that have plagued the country. The middle years of his presidency were marked by significant strides in peacebuilding, healthcare and education, areas that are fundamental to the country's progress and development. These years demonstrated Duterte's commitment to addressing long-standing issues in the country. We now come to the recent years of Duterte's presidency. These years have been marked by immense challenges and significant milestones. The world was grappling with a global pandemic, and the Philippines was no exception. Yet, under Duterte's leadership, the country began an aggressive campaign to manage the spread of... Despite the challenges brought about by the pandemic, the administration remained steadfast in its commitment to eradicate corruption. His administration's efforts have not only addressed the immediate needs of the Filipinos, but have also laid the groundwork for a more resilient and progressive nation. As we conclude, let's take a moment to reflect on Duterte's presidency. From the onset, his administration brought significant shifts, tackling corruption, crime and drug-related issues head-on. 
His infrastructure development projects, known as Build, 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 brought in a new era of progress, transforming the urban and rural landscapes alike. His foreign policy shifts diversified the Philippines' global partnerships, fostering new alliances while maintaining old ones. Yet his tenure wasn't without controversy, with international rights groups raising concerns over human rights. Whether you agree or disagree with his approach, there's no denying that Duterte's presidency has left an indelible mark on the Philippines.